Okay, boys and girls, time for math. We're going to look at some coins. Oh, my wife, Mrs. Barlett, is looking at the book. You like that book, honey? <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, we'll see you when you go for your walk. All right. So, okay. All right, boys and girls, we're on page, what was it, 127? I'm going to do this video in two parts because the first time I tried, it didn't come out. Nothing. It was blank. I'm sorry. That's just the way it was. Okay, let's go. 127, and here we go. It says... Peter's back. I mean, he's, you know, back with us. Peter has six more red pencils than blue pencils. He has eight blue pencils. How many red pencils does he have? Easy, because what you do is you start off with the number that you know he has. He has eight blue pencils. Let's draw eight. Go. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's got eight blue pencils. All right. He's, he also has six more red pencils than uh, blue pencils. Let's just draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be all of the red pencils he has. So I go ahead, I take the blue, but I add six more. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So basically, what do we do? We do 8 plus 6, and it is 14. Put 14 up there. All right, oh, there's Sheba the lazy cat. You're late, Sheba. Pretty good, huh? So it's 14 red pencils. Hope you got that with me. Okay, now let's try to get this going. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oops, let's put it like that, boys and girls. Hopefully, the tape will not run out as it did last time. Okay, let me tape that up. Good as new. Well, almost. Okay, it says use the word bank to label the coins. Here's the word bank, and the word bank actually has coins. Quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Okay, do you remember? Do you remember? Penny, penny. Why? Lincoln and Lincoln Memorial. Put penny. Remember this? Silver colored, Franklin Roosevelt, the torch, it's got some laurel leaves, olive branches, whatever. Hey, it's worth 10 cents. It's a dime. We remember that one, right? Let's cross out penny and dime. Okay? And if you need to stop the tape, please do so, uh, or the video, and just press play when you're finished so you can copy this when I'm doing. It's pretty easy though. Now we come to a new one. Oh, what's that? Here it is. He's got his white wig on and his ponytail. George Washington, first president, first general of the United States Army during the War of Independence, American Revolution sometimes called. Eagle, the symbol of our country, etc. It's called a quarter. A quarter is a fourth. It takes four of these to make one dollar, so it's worth 25 cents. Okay, it's a quarter. Let's copy it. Quarter. It takes four quarters to make a dollar. Last one. You remember that one. Thomas Jefferson Ponytail wrote the Declaration of Independence. All men are created equal. Monticello, where he lived in Virginia, means little uh, mountain in Italian. What's it called? Nickel. It used to be made out of pure nickel. Not anymore. Easy, and that's it. Okay, next one. You're going to do this on your own. Sorry. It says match the coin combinations to the uh, to the coin on the right with the same value. You count these coins. See which coin here is the same in value. Quarter is 25 cents, dime is 10 cents, nickel is 5 cents, and of course penny is 5 cents. This is up to, I mean excuse me. Oh, sorry, uh oh. Penny is 1 cent. Penny 1 cent, nickel 5 cents, dime 10 cents, quarter 25 cents. So, you go ahead, count the coins, and match them over here. Push stop when you're finished. Um, yeah, press play. Go. Okay, let's go. Count. Five. It's a nickel, right? Five pennies, right? One cent each. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the dime, and the dime is worth ten cents. Okay, very easy. Nickel worth five cents. Oh, there's the back of the nickel. There you go. Wow. 
Uh oh, dime. And that's 10 and 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. And a quarter is worth 25. Uh, there you go. Okay, I don't want the tape to go ahead and not come out at all. So I'm going to stop. Uh, get ready for part two.